looking like yeah old fucking onyx i bet none of you guys have this shirt this is a fucking old school shirt shit came out like five years ago yeah good it's old clean onyx. as fuck people oh. are waiting for the new isn't there gonna be a new one oh, yeah shit what's it gonna look like a little better a little bigger better and it can't way. be better than this like this shit just form fits just D cups right there, it just fits everything right how it's supposed to be. Yeah. That'll be good. Yo. Uh, Quick pulls. Uh, light ones? Yeah, light. Keep it light. In here. I get pain in there. Ah, like I'm getting pain everywhere. See, I'm climbing up on you. <laughs> Right, go Damn left. It. I'm getting first. pain. I have pain. I can't go hard. No, see, it's not the wrist. It's just yes. I, okay, I'll this area. All right, I won't. I just, I mean, I'll just get your wrist. I won't even try to go area. right a little bit. That sucks. Because it's like I want to go, and my fucking uh, everything hurts. And you go. Pin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. See, like, oh, if that was good, I, you would never beat me. You couldn't. It wouldn't be possible. Such a fragile little wrist. No, it's in pain. You should put growth hormone in your wrist. Dylan McKenna, Dylan McKenna, Dylan McKenna. Son of a bitch. You fucked my shit up, dude. It hurts. My fucking Gymshark cape. Oh wow, that shit's fucking tighter. Holy fuck. Jeez, dude, this shit used to be loose as fuck. Take it easy now. They don't, they don't play music, that's amazing. Huh? Yeah. Do these plates feel fucking heavy? I will say. Do they? Bar looks nice and skinny. I know. The plates feel heavy, but the bar looks super nice, so. Oh, that bench is skinny, too. Feels like we're back in island. Or, or not at all. Yeah, my oh my everything hurts. Huh? My everything hurts. Mine like feels better and I'm getting blood. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more time. You wanna just do like three sets of 15? I'm sure. Like you can just do whatever, like 185. I wanna see if I can get a proper three by 15 with this. I haven't done that in a while, actually. <sighs> do you think you could ever, you could have done two plates for 15, right? Definitely. Yeah. Or more? I did it for 10 on the incline. Uh, 10 on the incline. Yeah, but 15. I'm, what do you think you could have done at your best on flat? 20 and some change, maybe around 20. What's that? Okay. Sorry, it's just one more thing. It's 135 again, don't forget the clips. You gonna do this for? Probably, yeah, unless I start feeling less pain. <laughs> it's 
My elbows are fucked up too. What do you want, 20? 25? No, just one. Yeah, and like pec's still a little tweaky. Do you get it like in here? It's like all around here. Yeah. He's even feeling it on the deadlift. From arm wrestling, you think? Yeah. It's good, it makes you strong. Break it down, break the tendons down. Yeah. And build it back up. Little micro tears. Like Devin Lorette and all those people, they train with like all the equipment, all those exercises. John was never that big of a fan of that. He just said the best way to get good at arm wrestling is just arm wrestling. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Old school. <sighs> the best way is to do both. You have to have similar enough strength. Well, not even that so as long as it's not like leagues apart, or even if it is leagues apart, you can still find ways to, yeah. to get benefit from training with someone. To train. We're done arm wrestling for this trip. Sure. Next trip, I'm gonna fucking smoke you though. I don't know about that. Cause for me right now, I'm like silly weak. Same. No, you're not. Yes, I am, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah, cause fucking, I have an arm wrestle and literally no, like not that. Just years. your whole body's just strong and primer now. I'm like fucking brittle. Yeah, but at the same time, the arm, dude, my arm immediately the other day was hurt. I like I couldn't. It was just getting having pain. You just you just soft. You just don't have it. It's okay. I'll fucking beat you. Big cheese and little cheese. This is your last set. Yeah, you think I'll get 15? Yeah. See that big dog? Yeah. You see it? I see it. You see it? Oh, I see it. How's it look? It's all right. Oh, no. Little mechanic half reps though. It's fine. What? You're not even touching your chest. Oh no, you're struggling now that you're touching it. Really hard. Ooh. Ooh. It's a nice clean workout. Just get it in. Yeah, unless you want to go one right, plate, like. One plate, one plate, one plate, one plate, one oh. plate for me. Really? Yes. One fucking plate? Yeah. Come on now, big guy. It's all right now. Let's throw a couple more. And then I did watch Arkansas, too. That one was after us. All right. Oh, you're, okay. oh, you're, you're, you're totally good around. though. Yeah, no, no problem at all. Yeah. Take it easy now. Three wheels? Six to eight. I'm gonna do three sets of six and then drop it. Pop. 
pause reps. Yeah, I think you're not going to like to hear this and say it's wrong, but it's better to keep constant tension. No? Yeah, it probably is. It I is. I feel like doing it that way. It's too heavy. Yeah, then, you know, seeing it through the lens of the how would you look at all the you know what I noticed? Yeah. About the whole like training to failure thing. What? Like my first year of training, is when I went like all out failure. Yeah. No progress because I didn't eat enough. To me, I feel like if I'm like underfed, then it's just like one, I don't have as much energy in the gym, and two, it's like pointless to go like so hard because I'm not getting the gains from it because I'm not eating enough, and I could probably just no, 100 percent, 100 percent. But if you're in optimal training condition, not every set, but how I like to do it is like, for example, you do three heavy sets, your fourth set go to failure. Yeah, like for me, like when I'm actually eating a lot of food, I have that strength in the gym. I still don't quite go to failure because if I go too hard on one workout, I'll be like gas for the rest. Yeah. So I go as hard as I can to be able to maintain that consistently. And to me, like the thing that dictates my growth the most isn't how like much I go to failure, it's how much I eat. Yeah, I mean, well, it's just like the combination of the correct training with the diet, but ultimately I like to do it, not every set. But for example, if you do four movements and you do four sets to failure after, you know what I'm saying, each movement, that's plenty of fucking sets yeah, like to failure. Yeah, like a set or two here and there, yeah. an ancillary movement, fine. Definitely. But I just feel like so many, so many people that go to failure, it's like this like romanticized notion of like, yeah, it's it just oh, fucking, yeah. I'm such a good person. There's absolutely <laughs> a place for it, but you shouldn't do it every single set, every single workout. Yeah. No. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I know. I'm gonna do one more set on it's two. It's wild how much bigger your arms got. Huh? Like you could just see your arms got so much bigger. For, so like when did I see you last? I think in uh, Miami. When? Yeah. Miami. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> and honestly, I think you had any impingement or anything. Oh, I feel good. Jeez. When you do shoulder stuff, do you just feel like a burn, like on the like inside of the shoulder, like the humerus head, like the inner rotator like right here? muscles, just like inside the actual shoulder? No. Or do you think... just all just external muscle? I, well, I get it like right here, yeah, just like this muscular. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's good. <laughs> You're basically asking me if I have a torn rotator. <laughs> you like visualize me being at the point where I could actually compete at like the Olympia, like top physique pro at, after seeing those, you know, guys online? Or can you just like right now, my current state, it's just like so Depends hard. Depends on how much you want to push the gear. Huh? Depends how much you want to push the gear. No, I don't think I need to push it that much. You know? Cause I mean, I'm literally do, I'm, I'm a week and a half, I'm a week and a half into the cycle. <laughs> so like once I actually do this one in another cycle, full blown, I think, you don't think so? It's still fucked? Yeah, I could see it. It just depends on how serious you want to take, how much you want to push the gear. Do so you think I have to push a ton of gear to get like do pro? To, I mean, to uh, be like Olympia level? I mean, it won't hurt. <laughs> my, my next cycle is plenty. Jeez. Yeah. Is that enough or no? 
That'll get you some far away. Wait. It's all there. Yeah, and I'm minoxidil RU and finasse out the ass for, for life. <laughs> and then hair replacement if, if it all goes to shit. Was your dad's the dome all right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Does this footage have to be color graded? Just a lot. All right. Let's do one more here. Then let's do... Meaning this is your last one and we're done? No, no, this. Then let's do... Like you're going to do the set and we're done yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. No, done this one. Okay. Then let's do dips. So, and then uh, dips and laterals and then that's it. Okay. Three to four sets each. Can you see my back in the camera? Yep. Of course. I watch like all your videos and everything, yeah. like all your workout videos and like you cooking and shit, bro. Yeah. Like, Damn, that's, that's actually crazy. <laughs>